Welcome back everyone to another issue with a BMW. Imagine that. But, oh damn. Uh, Guess I should unlock it first, right? That's not gonna work. Another issue with the F10. All right. Now this one uh, is called the Christmas tree effect. And it happens when you piss something off and uh, every light on the dash goes on. So let's check it out. This is what we got going on. Just about every light that can light up on this thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Even the damn steering wheel. Yeah, so we got we got the restraint system. We've got the chassis stabilization, more steering stabilization, brake. Uh yeah, so I don't know what's going on in this damn thing. But yeah, the restraint system, everything. So there's a clicking when I turn either direction in the front. So I'm guessing that I lost a wheel speed sensor or a CV shaft or something. Uh, so I'm gonna take it over to the lift, put it on there and see if I can't figure it out. Here we go. Other than the fact that I know it needs brakes and it needs brakes all the way around the rotors need to be turned I knew that going into it. That's not a big deal. I got a shop here in town turns rotors for 12 bucks uh, So here's the problem There yeah blown boot on the CV shaft and I felt play um, a little bit like a bad wheel bearing or something for a while or not a while i've only had this car for a minute but you can see it's blowing everything up um and i mean the wheel speed sensor is right there maybe it was sensing it i don't know uh but yeah that's that side and this is this side so both axles i'm sure are bad i mean i don't know if replacing the boot is worth it at 155,000 miles. I highly doubt it. All right, everyone, it has been a while, but we are finally back and ready to, yes, do the brakes all the way around and the axles, the CV axles on the front. And you can tell I did drive it up to Sydney and get the windows done, 20% all the way around. Looking a little classy now. Uh, okay, so here's the parts that we're gonna need that I ordered. All the links will be in the description below. Um, now, a couple of things. I got these off of Amazon. These are TRQ, and for the money, um, I'm definitely gonna try these. These are way cheaper, and they say they're better than, better than OEM. Everybody who owns a BMW knows that that could be a bad thing. Um, gonna need a 17 millimeter hex head or Allen bolt or whatever hex bit. Um, all four rotors. Now these rotors were cheaper with my discount at O'Reilly's. Um, I paid maybe, I think 286 after my discount for all four rotors. So typically on these BMWs are pretty expensive and like last time I had mine uh, just turned. So what I'm gonna do is swap these ones out and then I'll get these four turned, grease them up, put them on the shelf. Um, all right. And then Detroit Axle, I ordered these guys off of Amazon as well. These are from Detroit Axle uh, ceramic pads. And then they give you this little uh, brake clean and uh, also DOT3 brake fluid if you need it um, included in the box. But like I said, links in the description below. First thing we're going to do is take that 17 mil. We are going to pry off the center cap on the front two wheels and then we're going to loosen that axle nut and that's a 17 mil that's why we're going to do it while it's sitting on the ground it'll be way easier in the long run so first i'm kind of crooked so i'm going to back this up line it up with the car lift make sure it's in the perfect spot it needs to be and then i'm going to get those axle nuts loose one on each side all right guys i got the center cap off and man i need some new ones because somebody's beat the crap out of them but there's your 17 mil right there so just like that just gonna knock her loose on each side and then i'll get the car up 
and uh, get the wheels off. Start disassembling the brakes. All right, guys. Next, you got a uh, dust cover here and there, and then seven millimeter hex head. Um, that's going to loosen your your caliper. We'll be able to pull the caliper back. You got your clips here, um, and then we'll uh, be able to get to the caliper bracket. And then you got a little I don't know, looks like a seven mil or whatever there, as well that holds the rotor on. Yeah, that's going to be a five or a six. But anyway. Um, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, guys, real quick. You got a couple of 18 mils here for the actual caliper bracket. The 7 mils come out, but you can't pull this off. I don't think you can anyway. Um, the whole bracket comes out with these two 18 millimeters, which I have blown axle grease all over. So, but there it is. Yeah, anyway, and then I got a lot of cleaning to do. I'm going to pull out... Also, my wheel speed sensors on both sides, everything's just covered in grease, so that could be throwing a fault as well, and I don't like that. The drain plug is leaking. That crush washer must not be any good, and it looks like the um, also the oil pan gasket is leaking, so hey, fun stuff, but whatever. Um, yeah, Stock downpipe, that looks easy to replace on this thing. I'm kind of excited, um, but I'm going to get these two 18 mils out of here and pull this whole assembly off. I've got this sitting up on top of the knuckle here, um, and I'm going to I'm going to do the brake and rotor first before I do the axle because then I can have everything put back together, um, and then I'll just it stuff won't be hanging here all dangerously and crap like that. So I'm gonna oh, actually I'm gonna clean the caliper up first, all this grease mess, and then I'll pull the rotor off, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I got everything cleaned up, kind of. Uh, the rotor is held in by the little six millimeter here. And then uh, I just thread a lug nut back on, tap it with a ball peen hammer and it'll pop right off. And then you just take your lug nut off. Then it don't fall. I'm labeling my rotors because I'm gonna have these turned. Like I said, oil them up, set them on the shelf for when I need them again. Um, yeah, so at this point, I'm going to get the new stuff is right here so i'm guessing these are the rear so i'm going to get a front one all uh prepped up ready to put on Um, now I noticed that the brake pad that I took out from the outside didn't have any metal on it, and this one does. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to put the brake pad in the bracket, make sure everything slides freely before you throw your grease on here. If you need to file anything down or clean anything up, you want to make sure you have um, good play in your brake pad so they release when you release the brake. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to throw these pads in and then the bracket back in. Yeah. And then you also get new retainers as well.
Okay, guys, real quick on this side, you have the brake pad wear sensor that clips onto the brake pad. Just right there. It's super simple, um, but you just want to make sure, I mean, you'll see it when you go to take this side off. Um, it'll just slip back in there like the old one was, so definitely don't forget about that. I don't think you really can, but... So I got this side apart. I'm um, going to get the rotor off, changed out here. You can see how bad this one is. Um, so I'm going to get all that done, put this side together, and then tackle the axles. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, the front brakes are done. Uh, well, the retainer, I got to go put in real quick on the other side. I always forget these. Um, but front brakes are done. Next, what I am going to do is tackle the right axle. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lower control arm, this bolt here from the bottom of the strut, and this bolt here. That'll give me access to be able to push the knuckle away and get the axle out. Um, I'm going to finish taking that 17 mil off. But then, in here, you've got to get, oh, it's a pain in the butt, but you've got to get a pry bar up against that axle just to kind of work the axle out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, let me get this put in, and then I'll tackle that. All right, so unfortunately, I got in the zone to, like, just get the job done, but um, I will show you my struggles. So, finish taking the axle nut out. And then underneath you have the lower control arm from the shock here and then the subframe here. Take those both out. You can pull this down and then you're able, it's going to be way easier with two people, but then you're uh, able to get that axle out and you got to get a pry bar. I took off the inspection trays and then you can get a pry bar right in here to pop this right side axle out. And then for the left side axle, doing the same thing here, but then you go right into here and pop that out. Now there's a black plastic ring. You don't want to pry against that. You want to pry against the metal part of the axle, which is actually right here. You want to pry right here and against like the steering rack or the subframe. This is plastic, you'll break that. Um, and then putting the new ones in, the long one on the right hand side is the biggest challenge, but you if you have somebody hold this stuff away, you just take a soft mallet and pound the end and that will actually seat that in there. It took me forever to figure that out on this side and then that side was super simple and that's the short one. So now I'm gonna put the inspection trays back on, front end will be done, and then I am going to do the rear brakes and I'll catch up with you then. All right, I have moved on to the back here, and the calipers are held on with two 13 mils. Um, you've got your electronic plug here. Uh, you've got your wear, brake pad wear sensor here. Um, and then 18, two 18 mils hold on your caliper bracket right there. Now, my problem is going to be right here. It looks like somebody tried to get this rotor off and broke something off in there it doesn't look like the original set screw that holds that in so i'm not sure how this is going to go um but that's probably why this rotor has been on here so long worst case scenario i don't get it off i drill it out um and then just put the same old brake pads back on it for now if, if i can't get that out of there so we will see uh i don't know really how important it is to even have that screw in there if i get that out so, I don't know, figure it out. That's where I'm at. Okay, I did it. So, what I did was I heated it up with a torch and there's barely a slot. Somebody cut a slot in there. Um, yeah, you can barely see it to where I could get my screwdriver in there after I heated it up and I was able to get it out. Now, uh, the proper thing to do is to not reuse these. So I'm not. Uh, but I'm gonna, the other one's over there. I'm gonna have to replace these somehow, or maybe not. I don't know if you really even need them in there. But uh, stuff like this, I don't go down to O'Reilly's to get. You gotta order it from FCP Euro, so that kinda sucks. But I might just kinda toss these back in lightly with some anti-seize, order the new ones, and then just quick take the tire off and swap them out when I get them. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to do what this 
previous joker did at whatever garage or shop did this so yeah okay time to get these rotors off and swapped out all right got the caliper bracket out so we're going to take the old guides out put the new ones in and then we're going to make sure the new brake pads slide freely through them and if they don't i'll file them down grease them up whatever i got to do so they are free to move when you release the brake so that's what I'm going to do now. And it looks like Detroit Axle actually gave brand new caliper bolts as well. So that's cool. All right. I got everything in place here. Uh, the new rotors in. I'm going to order some of these from FCP. Like I said, link will be in the description below. Uh, guides are in, greased up, brake pads are in. Now, in order to compress this, we have the electronic parking brake. So two T30 bolts. Those come out first and then we can remove this actuator and then loosen the actuator on the inside. And when we get to that point, I'll, I'll show you. All right, now with the actuator wiggled off and removed, um, I'm gonna use a T45 and I'm gonna turn it clockwise. And this is going to bring the parking brake out, um, release it all the way. And then I can go in and I can compress using my, um, yeah, caliper compression tool, which is a big old C-clamp. Um, and then I can do that, and we'll be safe to put the brake pad back in. And then assemble everything. There, all the way. Hopefully you can hear me over the fan because it's like 100 degrees today, but uh, real quick, when you're doing your brakes, uh, the rear brake pads are different. These two uh, nubs are closer to the middle to get in between the um, caliper here. And the ones on the back side are further apart. So just make sure you got that right, and then this will go together right. Ooh, okay. Well, I am glad to have this project done. It took the better part of a day, for sure. And I kind of figured it would, and the brakes weren't bad. I mean, I've done them before on an F10. Don't forget, once you set your vehicle down to finish tightening those 17 mils, I use the old axle bolts because the new axle bolts, I mean, the I didn't have a socket big enough. It looked like it was like a 19 or a 20 mil. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't do that. Uh, but, yeah, a couple things, you know, when you compress your brakes, I always take the cover off of the reservoir. So, it's not forgetting to undo everything you did. So... My reservoir is under here. So I'm gonna screw that guy back on there. And she is not overfilled, so that's good. There. Now brakes are done. Axles are done. I'm just gotta get on FCP Euro, order those rotor retainer screws for the back, and uh, this thing will be golden. So hopefully this video helped you guys out because man, it was a it was a job, but uh, hopefully she'll be ready to roll now, and uh, hopefully one of my wheel speed sensors isn't bad. I'll find out when I start it back up and see if the Christmas tree effect goes away. I do not know how to reset the brake. Uh, I know a lot of dealer the dealers use the computer or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I can get away with figuring out how to reset the brakes anyway. Um, but anyway, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.